This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 7. I learned a lot from uh, Chief Dyer and uh, it'll make me a better, a better chief, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to make some changes. Think about a one-on-one -on -one interview with Fresno's new interim police chief and the changes he's looking for within the department. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. Interim Police Chief Andy Hall is following in the footsteps of Chief Jerry Dyer. CBS 47's Eric Rosales sat down with Hall for his first one-on-one -on -one interview since taking the reins of the Fresno Police Department. Well, joined with Fresno's newest police chief, Andy Hall. And Andy, after 40 years on the job, uh, how specifically do you feel about the challenge? Well, uh, there's obviously big shoes to fill uh, with, with Jerry being gone. He really took this organization into the 21st century, and I got to be a part of that. So I got to, I got to uh, experience all that. So I learned a lot from uh, Chief Dyer, and uh, it'll make me a better, a better chief. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to make some changes. The thing about law enforcement is, is it just changes so much. We, we get new opinions from the courts. Uh, we get um, new laws from Sacramento. So yeah, even though um, um, there won't be drastic changes, we're always changing, and I want to lead that. Some said that there was a lack of transparency in this interim police chief naming you. And uh, what do you want to tell those people that question the transparency of this whole process? Well, I, I, I know for a fact that they looked at candidates, they looked at uh, the people that applied for the position, and, and they weren't 100% confident in the candidates that they received. Not that they weren't great, great candidates, they just didn't have the, uh, the full confidence and they wanted more time. Anything you'd like to tell the men and women of blue, in blue uh, with the department, within the department, that uh, they can expect from you for the next uh, as long as as long as the mayor wants you to be chief. Well, I, I think I can tell him is uh, is do your jobs, treat people w well, treat re people with respect, regardless if you're a victim or suspect. Um, keep in mind that um, it, we can do a thousand good things, but we do one bad thing and it tarnishes our badge. So be mindful of that. Police Chief Andy Hall, thank you so much for joining us. Very good. Thank, thank you, you, sir.